Hey, it's Josh coming to you from the RPM shop. Uh, we've started to ship out quite a few of these strikers. And they're starting to hit dealers and then uh, also hitting consumers' homes. And we've got quite a few guys that are calling in and asking if we were going to shoot some tutorials on how to tear these things down, put them back together, um, change lead offs, draw lengths, all of that stuff. So what we're first going to do is we're going to show you how to change the lead off on these strikers. It's super simple. They come from the factory uh, with a 0% let off and it doesn't matter whether you're at 14 inches of draw length or all the way up to 28 and a half inches. Um, once they're set at zero, they're going to be zero all the way through that whole draw cycle. Um, there's a couple grooves in the saddles and I'll show you what those are um, here in just a second that will allow you to get from the 0% let off to 65% let off, um, which is what the striker offers. So the first thing that I'd recommend when you, uh, when you get your striker is make sure that you get familiar with your owner's manual. Um, there's uh, all of the parts are listed up here on the top and then right below it there's a graph that will show you how to change the let off so what you need to do is you need to figure out what draw length you are first then find the according groove in the saddle that you're going to move the axle to if you want to change it to 65 percent let off so the way that you're going to do that is first things first you're going to come over here to these limb bolts and you're going to loosen these limb bolts so that your limb pocket has about a quarter of an inch maybe three eighths of an inch gap in between the limb pocket and the riser itself what that will do is it will decrease the tension on these this link cable yoke uh, yoke strings and then also your uh, your bowstring here so once you've done that then what we're going to do is we're going to pinch the string limb this curved limb to the energy limb this flat limb here we're going to move this axle right here, uh, depending on your draw length, either to the second groove or the third groove. So when we pinch this, what's going to end up happening is this link string is going to go limp, and then we're going to be able to move it on this other side. So we're going to pinch like this. It'll go limp, and then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it up one groove to that, uh, to that uh, second groove in the, in the saddle. That being said, this is for a longer draw, so 27 to 28 and a half inches. If you're a shorter draw than that, then move it to the third groove, uh, but don't move it to the third groove if you're a longer draw. So 27 to 28 and a half inches, make sure it goes into that second groove. Then what we're going to do is do the exact same thing on this side. We're going to pinch the string limb into this energy limb. It'll make this link uh, string go limp, and then we're going to move this axle one groove. You're going to notice on here that there's four spacers. Make sure that those spacers are on the left side if, you're, uh, if you've got a right-handed bow. Uh, make sure that those spacers are here. Make sure that the axles are seated down in these grooves before you draw it, and then you're off to the races. That's a 65% let off. You want to swap it back? All you do is, again, you're just going to uh, reverse what we just did. So pinch this string limb into the energy limb. It'll make that cable or that string go loose, and then you're just going to rotate it down back to that 0% let off uh, groove. Make sure that they both match, um, then put some, uh, some draw weight back on, uh, back on your striker, and you're back off to the races. For other tutorials on how to work on these strikers, check us out at rpmbowfishing.com.